Alright guys, so as I talked about before, I got the six-seater version of the car and I'm going to show you that right now. Um, one of my favorite things about the car is absolutely these Falcon Wing doors. I think it's one of the things that makes the Model X unique. There's a lot of people who love these things. Um, there are some things to be aware of when you have children, however. Uh, they do like to push the buttons. Um, make sure you're not standing underneath the door. It will bonk you on the head. It won't go all you down. It doesn't really hurt. It's just, you know, we, we kind of have a rule now. We've got to make sure people are clear. Don't lower the door on your friends. It's the same thing we have to do before even when we have the minivan. Don't hit the button to close the minivan door until everybody's actually in the car. Don't, you know, don't slide the door closed on your friends on the minivan. Um, but I'll go ahead and raise this up. You should see that it does air a little bit. I don't have it set yet. I wanted to make sure to show this so that it's not always full open when I'm in the garage so that you can kind of get an idea what it's going to look like when you first get the car. Okay, so this, this is not fully open. So as you can see, this is not fully open. It's absolutely open enough for a little kid to crawl in there and get in, which is 90% of the time of what's, what's actually going on. So in the car, all you've got to do is press and hold um, this up button. All right. And that will raise the Falcon Wing door um, to the highest point. Okay, as you can see, we have the six-seater option. We went with these two captain's chairs in the middle. There is a significant reason for this. So I went to two diff a couple of different Tesla showrooms to take a look at the Model X. Uh, one showroom had the seven-seater. The other showroom had the six-seater. I also watched several videos. I was really only able to find one online, and I might do a video specifically about this, about the seven-seater versus the six-seater. Um, and here's where it, here's what it came down to. Yes, the six-seater with the captain's chairs is more, absolutely. Um, however, what I wanna say is that when you have little kids getting in and out of the car, and you're trying to load a bunch of people into the car. The seven-seater model, when you're trying to climb into the bench seat, is fine, except when you have more people than, than that will sit, and you need to get people to the third row. So we make use of the third row a lot, and I want to keep this car for a long time. Right now, that's the plan, right? So if I wanted to say, let's plan for a five to 10 year car, having people crawling in and out or trying to make use of that, that trying to make use of the third row, it was very manual. So you had to, you had to pull some levers and you know, yank this thing forward, and then they had to climb over this wheel well. And climbing over this wheel well was, was quite the experience with a bunch of little kids. And it just, it just seemed like a pain in the butt that I was gonna have to deal with for a really long time. And then as your kids get older, it, and it's not as, it's, I guess it's not as difficult for little kids to climb in and out over the top of that thing, but as your kids get older and you're trying to get back there, it's really, really, really a pain in the butt. And so having your kids just hop in and be able to move around to the back is, is really what sold it for us. So that's, that's what we went with, um, and that's, that's really why we went with the six-seater option. Another thing I want to show you, with the six-seater option, you get a lot of room under this seat. And I can't tell you how helpful this is. Like, I can't begin to express how helpful this is. With the bench option, you don't have this room, right? So we take our dogs around and we do stuff and to be able to hop up in here and then just be able to toss some stuff underneath these seats, you know, for both sides is, is extremely, extremely helpful um, to be able to get it. And you can see, I mean, I have kids, right? They've already stood on the seat and this is exactly what my minivan looked like. So for anybody who's like, 
you know, this is a problem with Teslas. If you have kids, you have footprints on seats. It'll, it'll wipe off. All right, so let's kind of look at some of the other reasons why this is so beneficial. Uh, these captain's chairs are super nice. Uh, we've got this car seat that's in here. Um, this is kind of an older car seat. Um, I'm probably gonna start replacing some of these guys. Um, so the interesting thing about car seats is the Tesla captain's chairs in the back, e and even on the seven-seater model, uh, seem to be a, 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 a tiny bit narrow. Right, so when you kind of look at this, like you can see that that seat is kind of all the way to the side so that uh, my daughter can actually reach around over here um, and you kind of see that moves over and, and buckle that in. And I know that there's some narrower car seats out there. That is one of the things we're gonna kind of be looking for is maybe a little bit narrower booster seat that fits into this seat a little better. Um, I don't have any of the full car seats anymore, uh, luckily, because uh, I don't have to worry about fitting those in here, but I, I am going to have booster seats for the, at least the next, you know, four or five years, so these guys right here, um, I, need, I do, would like to find something that fits in these seats a little better. So one thing I want to show you why this is also helpful is it really helps make the third row a, a little more usable, right? So. As you can see with that third row, they're, they're kind of, um, they're together in the back because the, the car kind of slopes um, together as it gets forward. So your feet can fit here in the middle uh, and you can fit some taller people a lot easier. Uh, we try to climb in and out of this car uh, when, it, when it was just the bench seat here. And even if you kind of scooted it forward, I mean, it was a tight fit, right? So, I mean, it, it is an SUV. You're trying to get a third row in an SUV, so it, it, it gives you a lot of room. This is not a completely, you know, like a minivan, right, that's got, you know, a, a more room in the back. But this is definitely helpful, which makes this a lot more functional uh, to be able to have feet for your, a space for your feet. But let's take a look at why this is helpful. I'll grab a couple of kids, and I'll show you how they get in and out of the car. So, I got me a couple of kids. There's, it's a Saturday, and they're still in their PJs. No comb hair, which is fine. And what we want to do is we want to show you why it's great to be a kid and get in and out with the captain's chairs in the middle. So this is my one of my middle daughters, and then this is my youngest baby daughter, and then she, my youngest sits here, and my older one sits, she loves to sit in the back seat. So we're going to show her uh, getting in and then show her getting her seat. So this is, so here we go. So here's my older daughter. She just likes to hop right into the car. And this is why it's so easy as a kid because she could just get in the back seat. Um, she picks her seat, puts the seat belt on. She loves it. She also loves the fact that all the seats are heated and when it's cold, she loves me to warm the seat up. <laughs> so then my other daughter, this is the one who has pushed the button and bopped me on the head with the door. <laughs> twice. <laughs> so, twice. So it's just where she gets in. And then this is her in her car seat. And then this is where she'll put her seatbelt on. And then that's how the kids ride. So this is why we got the captain's chairs. Um, it's so easy for them to get in and out. Um, and that's why we love that. All right, so one of the other things that's great about the captain's chairs is they're really easy to move forward because they're not manual. Um, so my daughter here will demonstrate where she presses really fast and just pushes one button here. And you'll be able to see how this thing moves completely forward. It also will shift the seat that it's in front of for a little bit. Um, but if you need it for some reason to load in and out right here, um, that's possible. I'm not really sure at this point why we would use this feature regularly Hi, other than if we needed to store a lot of stuff and push it forward because you don't really need it to load into the back seat because um, you can just move around through the middle. But I'll let her kind of show you. You just simply push the button here and the seat flat sides forward. The seat in front of that slides forward a little bit and then she's able to just jump in uh, right here which is not at all how we used to load that, um, but that's how that works. And then if she, uh, she can just hop out, and then if you push the back button real quick, just like you push the front button, okay, well, whatever, that the seat will then slide back to where it was. So then you're good to go again. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, please sub to the channel. We're going to post some more about everything we're doing with EVs. Again, my wife drives a Bolt. My daughter drives a Leaf. And we replaced the family car with this. Yeah. We're excited about our Model X. Thanks for watching.